Why, hello there to the Cancer Gang. Welcome to your reading for the rest of September 2021. In this reading, Cancer, we're gonna look at your opportunities that you have for the rest of the month. We're gonna look at some challenges you may be facing. And then finally, we're gonna get some direct messages from your spirit guides, all right? So I've already pre-shuffled the cards, so I'm laying them out right now. Um, but before we begin, I just have to warn you guys that there are a ton of people pretending to be me on social media, trying to scam people into private readings, okay? Just as a frame of reference, the only way to ever get a private reading with me is to click the link in the description box below that says book a session. Also, follow my official social media accounts there, okay? Um, and if, an, if a, an account messages you saying, hey, do you want a reading? It's Austin. Um, it's not me. That's a fake account. Okay. But you guys, you have your third eye open anyway. I know you guys can see through the bullshit. Okay. So I just don't want to see people get scammed. All right. So just be aware of that cancer. All right. But, uh, let's get into your reading right now. Let's take a look at some opportunities that you have for the rest of September, 2021. We have the page of pentacles energy. We have the ace of wands. And we also have the five of wands here. Okay, so I definitely see you guys wanting to start something new, maybe a new creative project. It's almost like uh, someone is inspiring you in your reality right now. I'm sensing this is like an offer from someone. For a lot of you cancers, I'm getting that um, maybe you look up to someone. I, For some reason, I'm not getting this is someone in your physical reality. What's going on is like maybe you guys watched a, a motivational video online and you're like, all right, that's enough. I'm going to start my own thing right now. I know that seems really like cliche, but that's just what's coming through. Um, the opportunity as well is to break through barriers in, in the form of like competition. The five of wands here, Cancer, is all about like kind of friendly competition, almost like playing like play fighting a little bit. Um, there's an opportunity to, to capitalize on that this month. Okay, so I would say if you look up to people or if you see people succeeding that are in the same field as you, you know, use that to challenge yourself, okay? Ace of Wands is a wonderful opportunity spot card, you know? Um, Page of Pentacles, though, some of you, it's not, you know, this is like an offer um, coming in I'm getting for this card. So for some of you, there is someone in your reality that could help you, but for the vast majority, I do sense it's a... Uh, Someone, maybe you have like an online person. For some reason, I don't know why it's saying someone is inspiring you to start your own thing. Okay, so that's an opportunity this month. You know, it's almost like shifting out of a, a, a competitive frame, you know, and, and, and like viewing people as your enemy. Even if you're competing against someone, you can look at that in a really positive way, right? This person is pushing me, I'm pushing them. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Wands for you before we move on to your challenges for the rest of the month. Okay, um, let's ask Spirit, what is this Ace of Wands for the Cancers out there? A lot of you guys feel like something new. I love the Ace of Wands, you know. Also, this could be sexual energy for some of you. Uh, for some of you, this could be, you know, an increase in your sexual flow, right? You're maybe wanting to meet someone new. All right, so for the Ace of Wands here, is clarified by the maturity card for the Cancer for September. So this maturity card, this is the ace of the rainbow suit or the pentacles. You know, guys, this says, you know, you wanna create something, you literally have everything you want. You're mature enough. You know, I can sense that the, the Cancer is watching this video. Um, you guys are very mature, okay? This card says that it's almost like the, like the magician card. It says you literally have everything you need to create what you want, okay? So be fearless when you go out into the world this month, okay? And just start that thing, okay? It's what I'm getting. Let's also clarify this page of pentacles. I think it means a number of different things for different people, cancers out there. Um, let's go ahead and do two shuffles and clarify that page of pentacles here. <laughs> I feel like it's also, it just represents you as well, like embodying that energy. Yeah, okay, so for some of you, if you watched, this is, sounds weird, but if you watched someone online and they inspired you, the universe put that person in your reality for a very specific reason to help you move out of this feeling of powerlessness. And it's almost like you're looking at someone who succeeded and you're like, I can do it too. Okay, but I'll show you the cards. To clarify the page of pentacles, we have the lover's card. 
okay? So I feel like for a lot of you, and you also have the sorrow card. So I feel like it's moving away from powerlessness with the sorrow and sparking your love, right? For some of you, this is gonna be love. And let's be honest, guys. What motivates us to, to embark on a new creative journey? A lot of times it is the act of creation itself, right? I could say I'm doing these tarot readings for you guys because I love to do tarot readings. It's just I would do it anyway, even if I wasn't doing it for you. But also, you know what motivates me? Love. A lover. <laughs> so a lot of you guys, you're saying I need to start on this creative journey because I need to manifest something to, to, to manifest a lover. And there's a lot of competition out there maybe. So a lot of you guys are like, all right, it's time, you know, if I want to create the life that I want, it's time to do this, okay? So that's what's coming through for you guys. Um, I also want to clarify this five of wands because there's almost this feeling of trepidation. Um, it's like, I'm getting the feeling you guys already know what you want to do, but for some reason you haven't started it yet. I feel like that's going to change for the rest of the month, but hold on. What does spirit have to say about this five of wands for the cancer coming up? And then we're going to move on to your challenges. All right. So to clarify the five of wands, we have the compromise card. All right. So in some way, shape or form, I feel like for a lot of you, there, maybe there's someone in your reality that you don't want to upset. Okay, so you're compromised, you're, you're compromising yourself. It's, it's like, just be honest, you know, compromise always leads a bad taste in your mouth. So what I'm getting is a lot of you guys, you're not pushing forward with a certain creative dream, a, a certain creative bent, a new career, a new passion, a new lover that you want to pursue. You're not doing it because there's someone that you're very close to that you're going to upset if you do it, or maybe it's even your boss at work. It's like, you want to, you want to remain, keep the status quo, but you have to understand that that's compromising your own self. And you don't have to feel guilty for, for really pushing forward with this energy. Like there is enough abundance in the world for everyone. I'm getting what I need to tell you, you cancers in this, in this reading for the opportunity. It's like, you're, you, you think that if I go forward with this, I'm going to take away from Johnny, from Susie, from Mary. And I love Johnny. I love Susie. I love Mary. So why am I going to go ahead and like be this boss? And then they're going to change their opinion on me. The truth is abundance is the way, you know, the pay, everyone has their own unique opportunities. The universe is offering things to people all the time. So what I would say to you is, once again, shift into the, to the collaborative frame. You getting yours, you becoming a millionaire, there's, you're not taking anything away from anyone, Cancer, okay? So just move forward with audacity for the rest of September, okay? Let's move on to your challenges for the rest of September, though, Cancer. And of course, the challenges usually go hand in hand with the opportunity, right? So let's look at it. Your challenge is the magician, the three of pentacles, and the page of swords. So it's a very similar energy where you want to create something, okay, but you're for some reason you're very tri you're not doing it yet, right? You're not really fully on board with this energy. You know what you have to do, right? Maybe you have to you have to hire a mentor, you have to study something, or you just have to put in the hours, put in the work of whatever that creative bent is. But this page of swords energy is representing gossip. The page of sword is actually right below this uh this five of wands for the opportunity and the challenge. So there's definitely, like I sense, there's someone in your reality, maybe it's a group of people that you're letting control you. You're letting the opinions of other people, like some sort of gossiping, you know, the page of swords, you might be dealing with someone um, who has a lot of gossip, you know, and, and right when you start that creative journey, they're going to start talking crap about you and you know it. And so you're like, and, but the weird feeling that I'm getting for you cancers is like, you almost like, it's almost like an avoidant mentality where you know, you actually know you're powerful. I don't, this is not a talk that I'm giving cancers that I have to remind you of your power. You're almost afraid of your own power and you're afraid of being like a bully and like, and, uh, almost like stomping on someone here with this page of swords, like someone also there, there may be some like information here that is brought to your attention. Um, Okay, with like what you have to learn to go on this creative journey. I don't know. That's what's coming through. Let's go ahead and clarify some of these cards, though. Let's clarify this magician. Why is it so challenging for you beyond that of what we've already said? 
is for the Cancers. Why is it hard to really tap into your magic? Once again, you guys know you're powerful. I'm getting that very clearly. It's not an issue of uh, not knowing your worth. I feel like you guys know your worth. Yeah, so we did. We had the compromise card peek out for the magician card, but we have the traveling card to clarify the magician. So maybe there is with the traveling card. This is about physical movement, right? This is also the eight of wands. So things are going to start happening fast, and you know that you're like, once I take the first step, then I'm in. For, I'm locked in, and that scares you, right? Maybe there is somewhere you actually have to physically go and learn from someone, right? The three of pentacles is all about apprenticeship learning under some sort of uh, mentor or something. And for some reason, it's like you guys know, maybe you can't accomplish your goal from just sitting inside and like visualizing it. Maybe you have to go out with a traveling card and actually meet some people. I think that's scaring the hell out of you because there's almost these people also, there's people in your reality you're afraid to leave behind. Definitely afraid to leave behind. It's like you're gonna stir the pot. It's like once you make that one move, it's gonna stir the pot. Let's clarify this page of swords though. Okay, because I think once again, this card means a number of things to different people. Let's see what comes through for this page of swords. Uh, yeah, hold on, let me shut up for a second. <laughs> Whoa, we got a jumper. That means it's a very important message. Yeah. So to clarify the Page of Swords, we have the Projection card. This is all about being stuck in the mind. Um, what's coming through is you guys are overthinking, okay? So everything I'm saying is like you, you really, you guys are totally convinced that there's people in your reality that once you start on this creative journey, they're going to start talking shit about you, Cancer. And it's like, and also you're going you're gonna to blow past them that you're going to make them feel really uncomfortable. And so you're trying to be a nice guy, a nice girl, a nice they, whatever you call yourself, uh, but you're not seeing it clearly. The projections card says that this page of this page of swords, these this people that represents the energy I just said, you're giving them characteristics that don't actually exist. Projection from a psychological standpoint is when you have subconscious things within yourself that maybe you can't see, you can't admit to, and you think other people, so you see it in other people and you can't see it in yourself, right? It's like the classic example of someone who they were born in like a Christian family. They're actually gay or like they're bisexual, homosexual. They can't admit it to themselves. So everywhere they go, they're everywhere they go. They're like, oh, look at that gay guy. Or like someone, it's like a, a gay, <laughs> this is a really weird example, guys, really weird. But it's like someone eats a banana and like the guys at work is like eating a banana and the guy thinks like, Oh, look, it looks like a, a, a penis or something. He's like sucking a penis. Because, because he can't admit that maybe I actually am bi or gay, you see it everywhere. Meanwhile, the other person is just innocently eating a banana. They're not thinking of anything sexual. So the reason why I bring that to you is because you're afraid of what these people are gonna think of you starting on this journey, but really it's only your subconscious mind pouring out your own inner beliefs. So use this moment as a challenge. I'm challenging you, Cancer. This is the challenge is to say, this is, the, this is the magic for you, Cancer. Ready? Ready for this one? No one cares about you. And I don't mean to say that in a negative way. I just mean this. People are living their life. They have a million things that they got to do today. They're not focused on you as much as you think. Everyone thinks the, world's, uh, surround, the world revolves around them. It's not true, guys. You go and, you know, your failure, okay? So even if you fail at this new creative thing, it doesn't mean the same thing to other people as it means to you. You think people are gonna say, uh, oh, you're an idiot, you're a failure. No, people are gonna say, wow, they had courage, they tried something, it didn't work. But the good news is, I, th I think it's gonna work for you guys, as long as you don't take these page, this page of swords seriously. It's your own projection, baby. Also, watch out. People are projecting onto you. So this page of sword could very well be projecting onto you. So the way to know if someone's projecting onto you is if they, if they look at you and they say, they give you a characteristic that's just, it's just not in you 
at all, it's probably in them. So that's how you decide. So we're getting into psychology today, Cancer. I didn't think it would get this deep. Um, but yeah, this is a great reading so far. Let's also look at the messages from your spirit guides before I send you guys on your way. So message from your spirit guides. We have the strength card. We have the three of wands. And we also have the star card. Okay, so, you know, this is really just saying to me, like it goes in alignment, have the strength to become a star. You know, the star could represent healing. I think going on this creative journey for you, your spirit guides are saying, regardless of the end result, it's going to be healing for you with the star. Also, you have a lot of potential to get notoriety, to be a star, right? To stand out from the crowd with the star card. Um, the strength card also says you got to be strong though, because although I was saying for the opportunity, it's like you have everything you need with this page. Of, it's like you have everything you need. Uh, you're convinced that you don't for some of you. Okay, so just be careful of that. A lot of you do know your power, but once again, it's like this subconscious projection coming out that's skewing your attention. So be strong and, you know, and realize you're in a better position than you're in. For some of you, you know how strong of the position you're in. Okay, you know that, hey, maybe I'm gearing up to go on a traveling journey. Maybe it's scary, but it's okay. For others of you, I have to remind you of your own strength here. Let's go ahead and clarify a few of these cards before I send you guys off, though. Um, let's clarify the star card. What am I not seeing from it? What does spirit have to say about this star energy? For the cancers watching this video. Almost some jumpers. One more. Yeah, so a few cards jumping out to my attention. The star card is clarified by the world and postponement. <laughs> you can't get any more accurate than this, guys. It's like a certain phase of your life is done of like of being of not taking action. It's time to take action. It's time to move out into the world. It's time to become the star that you're meant to be in this world. Okay, but you're postponing it. So spirit wants to say to you, uh, maybe it's time to just regardless of the result, get out and go, okay? It's the same message being relayed to you over and over again. Um, and the maturity card at the bottom of the deck, can't make this stuff up. Let's clarify this um, strength card as well. What does spirit have to say about this strength card for cancer? What does spirit have to say about this strength card for cancer? Got one more. Hmm. Yes, the strength is clarified by the fool. Okay, so be strong to go on this journey. I literally, I feel like I want to end this right now, okay? Because it's just a clear message, guys. The message is you have something you want to do creatively, sexually, with your spirit, okay? Don't be afraid to look like an idiot because half the people that you're worried about, they're the real idiots. And I say that with love and compassion. But what it means is like no one's paying attention to you as much as you think. Uh, you have everything you need to succeed. So maybe this is the video that you needed to get you off your butt and getting going. Don't be afraid to travel as well, all right? So thank you, Cancer. This is my first video ever doing readings for Cancer, so I hope you guys will come back to more, and I appreciate you. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.